it's Glam coming to you live, and it's day one of the birthday bash weekend. Everybody say yay! Yay! So let me tell you, okay, I'm driving, but I'm not filming myself. So we're going to Ink Couture, and we're gonna keep you following what's gonna happen. I'm getting a very special tattoo. Mm. And mm. we're gonna tell you all about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like deep meaning, deep meaning. So anyway, um, I just want to tell you it's fun. We're not sure what we're doing tomorrow because I do have to work, but we'll hang out and do something. But on Sunday, we're going to the Museum of Illusions, Ooh. and then we're going to the Blue Note for brunch. So it's a three-day birthday bash. I turned 61 on Sunday. So everybody say hooray! I wish you could all come. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. We'll talk about that later. But mwah, mwah, mwah. we'll let you see what it feels like when I scream when they put those little needles in my body. And I'll tell you all about it. See you in a bit. Mwah. So I'm here at Ink Kutcher, and my favorite tattoo artist in the whole world, Sex, is going to do my tattoo. So we'll tell you what it is that I'm going to have done. So somebody very close to me, and I can't tell you who, um, got a lotus flower and got writing on it. And the basis of what it was was, I don't know if you know anything about a lotus flower, but a lotus, which is also called a water lily, what the lotus represents is, lotuses float above, amongst, up above the water, and they're usually in swampy areas or thorny areas. So there's this fabulous scripture that says like a lotus, or actually it says like a lily amongst the thorns, is my love amongst the maidens and that's the bride groom speaking to the bride and i really related to it because the pink lotus represents devotion and purity and that's what my heart is like and i always feel like i am that um lotus that blossoms even amongst the people that are ripping me apart and the things of the world but something happened recently that um made me just feel like I wanted to guard my heart. So the tattoo is going to be a lotus flower in a little heart and it's going to say um, guard your heart above all else dot dot dot. The scripture is guard your heart above all else because out of it flow the wellsprings of life. So the tattoo is going to say guard your heart above all else like a lily amongst the thorns. And um, it's a special meaning because I am that lily, my heart is the lily, and it's gonna be guarded from now on. So um, this is like that statement tattoo that it's always gonna remind me that I have to be very careful who I give my heart to with abandon. So um, that's the story. Sometimes I like to get out my pain by having pain put upon me. Um, any questions for me, Miss Tolly? Um. I was wondering what that was on your necklace because usually it's it's just the Ten Commandments. You know, I always wear the Ten Commandments. Well, yeah, I did add this recently. Um, if you see this, it's um, an 18 karat gold. It's 18 karat gold mixed with 14 karat gold um, safety pin. So it's not just a regular safety pin. And um, it was a gift for someone that I never got to give to them. Um, it was very special. It was supposed to represent like um, a, a attachment of um, friendship and caring and a piercing of the heart which allowed me to open myself up which I had in, in like 20 years really opened myself up in that way and um, so I never got to give it because it appears that that friendship is no more so I um, what I did was is I got a heart which is in the shape of a lock and a key to put on it to remind me that my heart is locked away now and I have to be very very careful because I am that lily amongst the thorns and I have to guard my heart you know um, I forgive I always forgive but sometimes you just have to remember when things happen to you in life that you have to remember the lessons that you're being taught anyway we'll catch you later when I'm screaming and writhing in pain because there's a lot of scripture going on my leg and it's gonna Dig into my skin like it's being ripped apart. So we'll catch you later. Okay, so this is my favorite person in the whole world, Six. 
he last time you saw me at two red spiky things now he did them in a deep dark black but either way he is as cute as a button um i love and adore him and wouldn't let anybody tat me and make me feel pain like this except for him so ha, he did a really great design and we're gonna show it to you. We'll show you the stencil. Um, this is one of my favorite places to come if you're gonna do a tattoo, because, um, see, this is a stencil. Is that the, what they call it? Mm -hmm. And he's gonna put it on. Um, it's beautiful, and it's gonna be in black with just um, shadings of pink. But this place is like so like, um, it's pristine clean. So it makes me feel like I'm like in a tattoo doctor's office, which is really cool. And um, he's putting gloves on. And um, so we're going to bring you back in as soon as he goes in for the shoot with the needles. But we'll show you when the stencil's on. Be right back. See what you got framed up? It's coming nice and close. Let's go right there, okay? You like it? Mm -hmm. Isn't that fierce? Yeah. So this is going to be a little bit more intense because he's doing a very fine needle and it's in my leg and it's littering. Whoa. So I've got this thing set on barely tickle. Oh my God. <laughs> It's all lettering, so I'm trying to try not to jump and to hold on. But sometimes physical pain is better because it just takes you out of your body. Yep. So you just don't feel the pain that you're in. Like right now, for the first time, I probably really want to cry because there's so many intense things that are happening. Um, but I don't know. I, it's taking me to a place where you're experiencing physical pain. And I'm okay with that. I think sometimes physical pain is easy to deal with than the pain that I would get in my heart. And now I just don't feel anything anymore. Um, you know, there's a lot going on. I know you guys know that. I know that you know that um, what I'm going through with my dear friend Eric. And I know you're all praying for him. He has um, stage four pancreatic cancer. And um, he's pushing through that. And then, you know, there's just been a lot of loss last year and this year. So sometimes I just show my pain on my skin. I know when people get inked, they don't always understand that it's just a message of um, kind of just making a memory of things that you need to remember. And to me, the message of guarding your heart is really important. So um, I trust Six because he's like really an amazing guy. And um, he understands, as we say in Yiddish, all my mishigases, but he's actually letting me talk to you so that I don't have to concentrate on <laughs> the needle that's going into my skin. But I know that it's going to be really beautiful because it's a piece of artwork. So um, I will be back to talk to you again later, um, unless you want to continue to see me wince. And um, I don't know, maybe Talia wants to go over there and show you what he's doing, which she can do. So out of all of your tattoos that you have so far, which one is the most painful? Um, I think that this is my favorite because it's a life lesson. It brings to mind um, a famous author whose name is Franz Kafka. And um, he originally wrote something called The Metamorphosis, but the other one eludes me right now. I can't think of what it, it was, but um, it was the story of um, how it was a criminal. And they actually engraved his crime in him. And that was, I think, if, if I recall it right, it was kind of like a death sentence where it was engraved in his body what his crimes were. And 
I guess that's what I feel. I feel that this one has meaning because it's being engraved in my skin so that I can remember forever and ever that my heart has to be guarded and I have to be very careful who I open myself up to if I ever do it again. Um, so I guess this one is really special because it's kind of like a life lesson. Cut. Can you do me a favor? It is. Alright, you ready? Yes. So, he's doing the soapy reveal. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? Yes. That's my man six. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That's a wrap. I love you all. Day one, birthday bash, 61 on Sunday. I'll see you all tomorrow. Mwah.